I'm Lauren Higgs and welcome to another episode of Red Carpet TV. It seems near impossible to keep a face of makeup on in the warm sun and with summer holidays on the horizon, beauty expert Laura Birmingham talked me through how to look good despite the heat. Here's how we got on. Okay, Laura, so I'm going away, so I thought I'd take this time to have a chat with you about how ladies should keep uh, their makeup on, how to keep a nice face of makeup uh, while you're away on holidays and in the sun. Okay, well, the first thing you have to think about is, is the face in its entirety. A lot of women won't tan the face. They like the, the body to get some colour, but they don't really want the ageing effects on their actual face. So they keep up really high protection. So you need, at some point, to match your skin to the rest of your body is getting browner. But you don't want to have to use an awful lot of products every day. Mm -hmm. So basically, something like a BB cream, um, okay. really, really good products. Basically, they're a three-in-one product. In here, you have your skincare. So that's moisturising, it's nourishing. Then you have some makeup. So you have kind of maybe some sheer or light to medium coverage. It depends on the pro on the, the brand. Okay. After that, then you have your SPF. So you have your sun protection as well. And this is a particularly good one because the SPF is 30. Some of them are very okay. low. There's yeah, low as 10. Yeah, so 10 is a bit too low. You know, for the face, you want that kind of level. A lot of come in at 10, 12 and 15. It's not good enough for you for a sunny day. So something like that's kind of perfect. City or beach, if you want some makeup on the beach. In terms of cheek colour, I think it's really important that you bring a little blush. It's a coloured stick and it's a cheek colour, but oh, you can take cool. a little bit, put it on the lips, put it on the eyes. So Daddy. you know, it's a kind of another again, another multi-purpose product. And if you have used kind of like a, a nice cream foundation, you should really use a cream blush as well. Don't use powder on cream because in the heat it all separates. Really? So if you're okay. using say a powder bronzer, which a lot of people have in a big palette, then use a powder blush. And you do use the two together. It's just to create different shapes, but a bit of radiance off the skin. And um, finally for the nails. If you're bringing nail varnish on holidays to top of your pedicure or your manicure, bring fast dry. Regular nail polish can take an age to dry in the sun. I know really? it seems the exact opposite yeah. of what way it should do, but it really can. It needs to go very, very hard or it'll smudge. And a lot of people who like their nail polish will know that happens. Yeah. Um, so when you're buying your polish, like this is Isadora one, have a look for extra long lasting, fast dry. Gorgeous, okay, thank you so much, Laura. No That's brilliant. It's important for us ladies to look and feel confident when we hit the beach. I met with Irish fitness guru Carl Henry this week to find out how to get the perfect bikini body without the fad diet. So Carl, you're in uh, U Magazine coming up with your new bikini body plan. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a second four week plan, day by day. Everything you need, the ultimate bikini body. It's not a quick fix, it's a real solution mm -hmm. to get you in shape for the holidays, for the beach, and show off the body with a bit of pride this year. Do you need to be doing something every single day? Is it, is it hardcore? Is it intense? Or? Well, it's tough enough. We build you up slowly and safely. That's really, really important. The good news is one rest day a week. We do nothing. Cool. Sit back, chill out, watch telly, read a book, whatever does it for you. Take it easy. Let that the body nice. recover. So yeah. Six sessions each week, three cardio and three resistance. So one full day off and then one treat day food-wise. It's got to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. Over these four weeks, we need to learn about health, about nutrition, mm -hmm. about exercise. We can keep that going, maybe during the holiday and even after the holiday. The whole body has to get worked. In terms of spot reduction, you can't just reduce one area of the body. Everything has to get worked. But think of a bikini, where do you want to look good? Mm -hmm. Arms, legs, the bum, the flat tummy. Yeah. All the areas that the bikinis are really going to show off are going to get worked between the food and the exercise. So when you hit the beach, mm -hmm. put the bikini on, you look good, you feel confident, and you're proud of all the work you put in to get there. Absolutely. You haven't just starved yourself Massive. this year. Mm -hmm. You've worked hard, and there's a great sense of pride in that. You show the body off, enjoy your holiday. The other thing is, there's recipes for every single day, and shopping lists, oh, and photographs for all the exercise that you need to do. You have no excuse. So you're not a fan of the fad diet, I'm guessing? last it's you know it's a january gym bunny quick fix solution that lasts for three or four weeks like regular readers of my column on good health on tuesday will know that i'm not a fan of it i hate <laughs> them because they don't work they're going to damage your system and you know what they're going to demotivate you yeah you're and it's not again. sustainable yeah they're just short term i've tried pretty much everyone in the market at this stage mine is the only one that works long term and my clients are, are proof of that the plan is just built on experience more than anything else okay carl thank you so much that's brilliant i'm looking forward to trying this out now with the girls in the office really cool. appreciate it best of luck Yasmin Laban is our Special K Fashionista of the Week. Combining two of the summer's hottest trends, the effortless supermodel wore a purple maxi dress with a contrasting print at the Royal Academy of Arts. The 47-year-old carried a matching clutch bag and kept her gold jewellery simple, completing the look with a casual ponytail and red lips. And now for a film that I personally am seriously looking forward to, 
the gorgeous Channing Tatum stars in G.I. Joe Retaliation, which hits our screens early next year. Other familiar faces will include Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, and Bruce Willis. This time around, the G.I. Joes are not only fighting their mortal enemy, Cobra, they're forced to contend with threats from within the government that will jeopardize their very existence. Here's a sneak preview. Enjoy. assume that there's no one we can trust. There is one man. You alright? Yeah. You alright? My cholesterol's a little high. That's all from me today. See you next time on Red Carpet TV.